Hi friends, do you all enjoy going to your friends birthday parties? I went to attend my friends birthday party last month. There were around 50 people at that party. When I say 50 people at that party, it is not exactly 50 people, right? There may be 48 people or some 51, 52 people. We now need to be always very precise with our numbers. In such situations, we use estimation. We estimate the numbers to the nearest multiples of tens, hundreds or thousands. It is also known as rounding of numbers to the nearest tens, hundreds or thousands. Today I am going to show you how to round off these numbers to the nearest tens, hundreds or thousands using a very simple activity. Let's get to the activity. Here on number lines, I have written multiples of 10, multiples of 100 and multiples of 1000. When we estimate a number which is in between 30 and 40, it can become 30 or 40. When we estimate a number which is in between 600 and 700, it can become 600 or 700. Most of us enjoy going on a slide in a park. Let's play with the slide now. Let's see what happens when we put numbers on a slide. Here is an estimation slide. On this slide, I have written numbers from 0 to 10. Let's try to round off a one digit number to the nearest tens using this slide. Let's round off number 6. I am keeping this 6 on the slide. Which side it will slide? It goes towards 10. It shows that when we round off 6 to the nearest tens, it becomes 10. That means 6 is approximately equal to 10. Let's try to round off a 2 digit number. 34. 34 comes in between 30 and 40. That is why I have written 30 and 40 here on this slide. Keep in mind, whenever we round off a number to the nearest tens, we must underline the number in tens place. The digit which is towards its right determines whether we are supposed to round up this number or round down. Here, 34 is equal to 30 plus 4. Here, I am taking this 4 and keeping it on the slide. It slides towards 30. That means 34 can be rounded off to 30 when we estimate it to the nearest tens. Here we rounded down 34 to 30. 34 is approximately equal to 30. Let's try to round off a 3 digit number 657 to the nearest hundreds. As this number falls in between 600 and 700, I have written 600 and 700 here on this slide. Here we are rounding off this number to the nearest hundreds. So we must underline the digit in its hundreds place. And check the number which is towards its right. Here it is 5. Are you able to guess the answer? I have number 5 here. Let's see which side it falls. It fell towards 700. That means 657 is approximately equal to 700. Now let's try to round off a 3 digit number to the nearest tens. Here we are rounding off the number to the nearest tens. So we must underline the tens place digit. 
Now we must check the digit towards its right. Here it is 6. 56 comes in between 50 and 60. That's why I have written 50 and 60 on the slide. Let me keep the number 6 on the slide and see which side it falls. Do you have any guesses? Yes, it slides towards 60. 56 is approximately equal to 60. So, 356 is approximately equal to 360. Through these examples, we have observed that the underlying digit does not change if the number next to it is less than 5. The underlying digit exceeds by 1 if the number next to it is 5 or greater than 5. Please keep in mind the number which is at the right side of the underlying digit is 0. It does not change. For example, when we round off 501 to the nearest hundreds, we get 500. When we round off 6801 to the nearest hundreds, we get 6800. When we round off 6089 to the nearest thousands, we get 6000. No change in the underlined digits. Hope you all enjoyed the activity. See you soon. Bye-bye.